Do you know that right in the middle of the turbulent Mediterranean, there is a small nation quietly doing things that make the whole world turn its head? And that nation is Israel, where the Haifa megaport was built by dredging hundreds of millions of cubic feet of seafloor to create a massive artificial foundation strong enough to welcome the largest container ships on Earth. What exactly is Israel ambitious about? How can a country of just over 22,000 square kilometers with scarce natural resources create engineering feats of global significance? Today, let's join Terran Works to uncover the full strategy behind Israel's grand expansion into the sea. Welcome to Israel a nation often portrayed in news headlines for its conflicts and sun-scorched deserts, yet in reality home to some of the most extraordinary landscapes on Earth. From the ancient city of Jerusalem with more than 5,000 years of history, to the non-stop 24-hour coastline of Tel Aviv. From the Dead Sea where the salt concentration is so high that your body floats effortlessly, to lush nature reserves thriving in the heart of the Negev Desert. Together, they form an Israel that feels both familiar and unexpectedly striking, a place where harshness and abundance coexist on a narrow strip of land. With a GDP per capita exceeding 54,000 USD, Israel is not just wealthy, it is surging forward on the strength of technology, energy, and maritime infrastructure. Located at the crossroads of three continents, yet surrounded by long-standing tensions with Lebanon, Syria, Palestine, and Iran, Israel understands one fundamental truth. Without expanding toward the sea, it cannot grow. So it chose a bolder path, transforming the Mediterranean into the nation's second strategic frontier. That is why more than 600 million cubic feet of seafloor were dredged to create the Haifa Megaport, a massive harbor built from rock and soil lifted straight out of the ocean. Meanwhile, at depths of 3,000 meters, the nearly 2,000-kilometer East Med pipeline is preparing to redraw the energy map between Israel and Europe. And offshore, Leviathan, a colossal gas field holding more than 22 trillion cubic feet, is turning Israel from an energy-poor nation into an emerging gas powerhouse. Right now, let's take a journey across Israel and discover how this small country is transforming the Mediterranean into the launchpad for its infrastructure ambitions. And our first stop, the monumental expansion of the Haifa Megaport. Did you know that to build the Haifa Megaport, Israel had to dredge hundreds of millions of cubic feet of the Mediterranean seafloor, literally turning the ocean into the foundation of an entirely new mega harbor? For decades, Haifa had been Israel's busiest port, but before 2010 it was still too shallow, only 30 through 47 feet deep making it impossible to receive the massive container ships arriving from Asia. As trade with Eastern economies surged, accounting for 25 to 30 percent of total imports, Israel was forced to expand this critical gateway, and that was when the Haifa Megaport project was born. But why Haifa? Israel had to expand Haifa for a simple reason. It had no other choice. The entire country has only three major seaports, Haifa, Ashdod, and Eilat, and each comes with serious limitations. Eilat, though closest to Asia, is only 31 to 33 feet deep and sits next to the fragile coral reefs of the Gulf of Aqaba, making dredging or expansion nearly impossible. It also has no railway connection to Israel's economic centers, forcing goods to travel more than 280 kilometers across the Negev Desert, driving logistics costs sharply higher. Ashdod, despite being modern, is constrained by a short coastline and heavy sedimentation from the south leaving almost no room for large-scale expansion. Meanwhile, Israel's booming trade with Asia demanded a deep water port capable of receiving 15,000 to 18,000 TEU container vessels. Haifa was the only location that could meet all those requirements. A wide offshore area suitable for land reclamation, proximity to Tel Aviv, Jerusalem, and Haifa Bay, the most developed road and rail infrastructure in Israel. And, crucially, no coral reefs that required protection. For these reasons, choosing Haifa was not a coincidence, but a strategic move that would transform the city into Israel's largest logistics hub of the 21st century. To transform Haifa from a shallow water port into a modern megaport, Israel divided the expansion into two major phases, 
each one marking a leap forward in the country's ability to handle large cargo ships. Carmel Terminal was the first expansion project. Construction began in 2003 and operations started in 2010. The project involved reclaiming an additional 2.4 million feet of land and dredging roughly 88 million cubic feet of material from the seabed of Haifa Bay. The channel depth was increased to 51 feet, allowing the terminal to accommodate post-Panamax vessels. On the newly reclaimed land, Israel built a quay over 3,100 feet long, installed six modern ship-to-shore cranes, 12 automated yard cranes, and turned Carmel Terminal into the largest transshipment hub in northern Israel at the time. But as trade with Asia continued to surge, Carmel quickly became overloaded. Israel was forced to look for a new solution, and Bayport Terminal was born. Bayport Terminal, part of the National Haifa Bayport Project, began construction in 2015 and officially entered operation in 2021. This was the true quantum leap for Haifa. Israel dredged more than 520 million million cubic feet of sand, silt, and hard rock, an enormous volume six times greater than Carmel. Of that total, 353 million cubic feet were used to create a 207-acre artificial island, forming the foundation of Bayport. The navigation channel was deepened to 56 to 57 feet, suitable for vessels of 18,000 plus TEU. Its ship-to-shore cranes, yard equipment, container yard layout, and automated gate systems all meet international standards, allowing Israel for the first time to enter the big league of Mediterranean megaports. So how did the Haifa megaport transform Israel's transport capacity and elevate the country to an entirely new level on the global trade map? Previously, Israel could only receive ships under 8,000 TEU. But with Bayport and Carmel, Haifa has raised the standard to 18,000 to 20,000 TEU, equivalent to Europe's major megaports. Its container throughput capacity surged to 1.53 million TEU per year, allowing Israel for the first time to compete directly with Mediterranean hubs such as Piraeus and Port Said. Beyond increasing capacity, the Haifa megaport also significantly reduced logistics costs. Larger vessels can carry more cargo per voyage. Handling speeds have climbed to over 190 containers per hour, and the automated systems ensure smooth operations even during peak surges in traffic. As a result, goods from Asia bound for Israel no longer need to be transshipped through neighboring ports, shortening transport time and strengthening Israel's strategic economic independence. Can you believe it? One of Israel's most strategic megaports is operated by a Chinese company? That's exactly what turned the Haifa megaport into a global flashpoint. When Shanghai International Port Group, SIPG, the operator of the world's busiest port, handling over 47 million TEU per year, won the contract to run Bayport for 25 years, they brought to Haifa the same level of automation found in mega hubs like Shanghai and Ningbo. Thanks to SIPG, everything from remote-controlled quay cranes and AI-based container recognition to high-speed traffic management systems was implemented, pushing Haifa's handling efficiency to over 190 containers per hour. But with that came a geopolitical earthquake. The United States immediately raised concerns as Haifa sits only minutes away from the anchorage used by the U.S. 6th Fleet. Several Israeli lawmakers questioned whether handing over the keys of such a strategic asset to China could compromise national security. Some analysts even called the deal a new flashpoint in the U.S.-China rivalry, right on Israeli soil. Despite the controversy, Israel still chose SPG, because few countries possess both the capability and the willingness to invest in transforming Haifa into the 20,000 TEU megaport it is today. If Haifa Megaport was Israel's way of expanding its footprint toward the sea, then the East Med pipeline is how the country seeks to extend its influence beneath the sea. After building a megaport capable of receiving 20,000 TEU vessels, Israel understood that maritime infrastructure alone wasn't enough. It needed a strategic energy corridor linking directly to Europe, reducing reliance on routes that pass through Turkey and the Suez Canal. This is why the East Med pipeline was conceived, a nearly 1,900-kilometer natural gas pipeline stretching from Israel to Greece, 
with many sections running at depths of up to 3,000 meters, deeper than most submarine telecommunications cables. If completed, it would become the longest and deepest subsea pipeline in the world, delivering around 10 billion cubic meters of natural gas every year from fields like Leviathan and Aphrodite straight to Europe. Though not yet built, the project represents far more than an energy link. It is a bold geopolitical statement. Israel, Greece, and Cyprus are forming a new energy triangle, directly challenging Turkey's influence in the Eastern Mediterranean and reshaping the balance of power across the region. Have you ever wondered, where do those thousands kilometer pipelines and massive offshore ports get their energy from? The answer is the Leviathan gas field, the giant natural gas reservoir lying beneath the Mediterranean Sea and the very source the East Med pipeline is designed to deliver to Europe. Located about 130 kilometers off Israel's coast, at a water depth of more than 1,700 meters, Leviathan holds over 22 trillion cubic feet of reserves, making it the largest gas field in the eastern Mediterranean. Discovered in 2010 and brought online in 2019, Leviathan immediately shifted Israel's energy posture, from a nation dependent on imports to one exporting gas to Jordan, Egypt, and soon reaching even the European market. The Leviathan development is also built on a scale just as unmodest as Israel's maritime mega-projects, a production platform weighing more than 30,000 tons, wells drilled over 5,000 meters below the seabed, and a network of high-pressure pipelines stretching hundreds of kilometers beneath the ocean floor. If Haifa Megaport is, is Israel's way of expanding its footprint on the sea surface, and the East Med pipeline is its plan to control flows beneath the sea, then Leviathan is the energy heart powering that entire ambition, a piece without which no project could function. These colossal projects are not only reshaping Israel's future, they are forcing the entire world to watch with a mix of amazement, caution, and strategic calculation. In the eyes of the West, Haifa Megaport is a symbol of a small but decisive nation willing to spend billions of dollars to strengthen its commercial position. Major outlets like the Financial Times and The Economist describe Haifa as the new gateway of the Eastern Mediterranean, a place where Israel is quietly climbing to an entirely new tier in the global logistics network. Many experts even argue that Haifa is becoming a new anchor for the Europe-Asia supply chain at a time of persistent global instability. Europe, meanwhile, is fixated on the East Med pipeline, viewing Israel as a crucial link in rebuilding energy security after 2022. Negotiations between Israel, Greece, and Cyprus are seen as the driving force behind the formation of a new gas map for the region while Leviathan is emerging as a field powerful enough to shift the balance of power in the Eastern Mediterranean. On a broader level, many international organizations believe Israel is transcending its traditional geographic constraints. Instead of being confined by land borders and regional conflicts, it is expanding its national strategy outward to the sea, transforming the Mediterranean into a new generation development zone where infrastructure, trade, and energy converge into a unified ecosystem. And whether praised or viewed with suspicion, these projects have placed Israel in a position the world can no longer ignore. A small nation that is redefining the energy and maritime order of the Eastern Mediterranean in ways never seen before. Israel, once a small and constrained nation, has chosen a completely different path expanding toward the sea, mastering the seabed, and harnessing power from beneath the ocean floor. Haifa Megaport gives them a new commercial gateway. East Med Pipeline opens a corridor linking their energy to Europe. And the Leviathan gas field transforms Israel from a gas-poor country into a rising force on the global energy map. These projects are not just constructions, they are declarations that Israel will shape its own future, no matter how harsh its geography may be. Thank you for joining Terran Works on this journey into Israel's maritime ambitions. If you want to keep exploring the mega projects, quietly reshaping our world, 
Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you again in our next stories.